President Obama touted his success at taking out terrorists and said America is safer because of it. These were some of the scenes America was faced with 13 years ago today. Welcome back to Fox News. We have a very tragic alert for you right now. An incredible plane crash into the World Trade Center here at the uh, lower tip of Manhattan. It's believed a 737 has crashed into this speculation at this point that at least three floors taken out, crashed into the side of the building. This has to be deliberate, folks. We just saw on live television as a second plane flew into the second tower of the World Trade Center. Can you tell me what you saw, what you heard? So you all right? Yeah. All right, thank you. This poor woman. Wow. We are hearing right now of another explosion that have ta has taken place at the Pentagon. I think this is one of these days where we can say that things will not again be the same in the United States of America. This is the kind of terrorist attack that is the nightmare that uh, experts and others have warned about Brit Hume. Michael Chertoff was the Secretary of Homeland Security under George W. Bush and is executive chairman and co-founder of the Chertoff Group. Sir, thank you very much for being here with us. And so that's the question. Are we safer tonight than we were? Well, there's no doubt we're safer than we were prior to 9-11. <clears throat> We've spent over a decade building a very formidable set of capabilities. And we have actually taken out, uh, one way or the other, most of the people who were responsible for 9-11. But we have to be careful not to be backtracking, and there are two developments I think we have to watch. One is there's been some uh, pushback against our intelligence capabilities, what NSA does. And I can tell you that our signals intelligence collection through NSA has been one of the most critical elements in our success over the last 10 years, and we can't afford to lose that. And the second development is the rise of ISIS, which is a, a new battle-hardened group of extremists that does pose a threat to the United States. Mm -hmm. For all the you know, terrible video we've seen of what they do over in the Middle East, how concerned should we be here in America that they, that they may threaten us here at home? I don't think this is necessarily an imminent threat, but I would say, first of all, as they bring Westerners into Iraq and Syria to be trained and further radicalized, uh, some of those Westerners are going to come back, and we have to be careful to monitor them and make sure they don't become terrorist activists here in the United States. I also think, frankly, as we step up the pressure on ISIS in Syria and in Iraq, they're going to feel some impulse to try to even the score. And I think that we have to be prepared for the fact that they're going to try to strike at Americans either overseas or in the United States. You know, a lot of people hear that and say, then what are we, do what are we doing? Why are we going over there then? Well, because you see, if we don't eliminate the problem now, it's only going to get worse. And when we went into Afghanistan after 9-11, we found laboratories where al-Qaeda was experimenting to try to come up with weapons of mass destruction. If we let ISIS build a state, build laboratories, sell oil and raise money, we're going to be facing an enemy that's more formidable than we faced on 9-11. We're much better off, as the president said yesterday, eliminating the problem now than waiting until it gets worse. Secretary Michael Chertoff, thank you so much for being here, sir.